हाई फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल मोकाम्बिका नर्सिंग फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी कैन सी सम क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन पेपर्स वी विल सी द क्वेश्चन वन बाय वन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच आई एंड हेल्प्स इन ब्लड क्लोटिंग दिस इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड ऑप्शन ऑप्शन ए कैल्शियम ऑप्शन बी मैंगनीज ऑप्शन सी पोटासियम ऑप्शन डी फोस्फरस दिस इज द क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज आज इन आर आर बी एग्जाम टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन सो वी विल सी द एंसर वी नो विच एमंग दिस ऑप्शन वन आयन इज helping for blood clotting which is that calcium so calcium is one of the blood clotting factor in our human body there are 13 blood clotting factors are there so in that factor number 4 is calcium okay so calcium will help calcium is a blood clotting factor which acts as a prothrombin activator which convert prothrombin to thrombin during the time of blood clotting that is which convert prothrombin to calcium which convert prothrombin to thrombin so it help for blood clotting so option a is correct over here calcium calcium is a blood clotting number 4 okay The next question, second question, which teeth are used for crushing and grinding of food? This is the question and option. Option A, canine. Option B, incisors. Option C, canine and incisors. Option D, premolar and molar. This is the question and option. This question also asked in RRB exam 2015. So here we can see the answer. For crushing and grinding of food, which teeth is used? That is the question. So we can see the for crushing, grinding, and chewing, we use premolar and molar tooth. So the premolar and molar teeth is used for crushing, grinding, and chewing of food. And the remaining option, canine and incisors. That is. we use canine and incisors for biting the food items so here option d premolar and molar is correct answer premolar and molar is used for crushing and grinding of food next question a patient is on long term use of antacid the nurse should advise the client regarding the chances of occurrence of question and option option a fracture option b dyserythemia option c paralysis option d depression so here patient is on long continuous use of antacid so the nurse is advising the client regarding there is an occurrence of which among which one is can occur for the patient so our answer option a is correct over here why if long term use of antacid leads to decrease bone density so there is an occurrence of once the bone density is decreased there is a chance of fracture so option a is correct over here continuous use of antacid leads to decrease bone density which leads to fracture question the fourth question the best birth control measures which can be adopted for a female on antibiotic therapy this is the question and option option a barrier method option b mini pills option c estrogen pill option d progesterone pill this is the question that is the question is while taking antibiotic therapy which is the best birth control measures a female can take that is the question so while taking antibiotic therapy the lady can take barrier method why the pills remaining here we can see all our pills mini pills estrogen pills and progesterone pills the pills can reduce the effect of antibiotics antibiotic therapy so um, she can take barrier method as a contraceptive birth control measures okay so what examples of this barrier method include condom vaginal spray and all on examples of this barrier method so during the time of antibiotic therapy she can choose barrier method as a birth control measures option a is correct over here the next question fifth question identify the parts of human stomach which connect or join the esophagus 
question and option option a fundus option b cardiac option c body and option d none of this so here which part of the human stomach which connect is with esophagus that is the question so here fundus cardiac body is the option so we can see the stomach which connect esophagus through cardiac sphincter so stomach is connected with esophagus that is our question through cardiac sphincter okay here cardiac sphincter option b cardiac is the correct answer and also another one sphincter is there that is stomach which connect duodenum through pyloric sphincter okay so stomach which connect esophagus through cardiac sphincter and the stomach which connect duodenum through pyloric sphincter so here option b option b is correct over here so the cardiac part of stomach join with esophagus and pyloric part connect with duodenum okay question the sixth question the antihypertensive drug contraindicated during pregnancy is and the option option a ramipril option b propanolol option c nifedipine option d methyl dopa this is the question and option here which antihypertensive drug is contraindicated during the time of pregnancy so during the time of pregnancy usually ac inhibitors are not giving during the time of pregnancy here one of examples of ac inhibitor is ramipril option a so this ramipril is not giving during the time of in pregnancy because it may it can affect the fetus so once it affect the fetus there is an chances of fetal kidney damage or there is a problem in fetal circulation or poor development of fetal skull so it affect the totally it affect the fetus so usually ac inhibitors are not giving during pregnancy and the most commonly used drug in the time of pregnancy is methyl dopa methyl dopa is mostly using that antihypertensive drug but ac inhibitors is not giving during mostly not giving during the time of pregnancy option a is correct over here option a ramipril question the seventh question which one of the following stone is more common among women this is the question and option option a is steward stone option b calcium oxalate stone option c uric acid stone and option d calcium phosphate stone here which stone is more common among women that is the question so here option a is correct over here that is steward stone is correct over here why steward stone we can see mostly uti urinary tract infection common among females because length of the urethra is less in female so uti is also common in female and the presence of this microorganism makes the urine alkaline okay and this is most common alkaline stone is steward stone so the more common stone which is present in woman is steward stone okay next question the eighth question what is the normal range of cardiac index and the options are option a 5 to 6 liter per minute per meter square and option b 4 to 5 liter per minute per meter square and option d 2.5 to 4 liter per minute per meter square and option d 1 to 2 liter per minute per meter square here the normal range of cardiac index is option c 2.5 to 4 liter per minute per meter square so cardiac cardiac index how we can find out is cardiac index is equal to cardiac output normal cardiac output divided by surface area in meter square this is the formula for identifying the cardiac index here option c is correct 2.5 to 4 liter per minute per meter square this is the correct answer for this question And we will see the next question. Next question, the ninth question. What is the therapeutic range of theophylline? Options are option A 0 0.5 to 2 mg per liter. Option B 2 to 5 mg per liter. Option C 5 to 10 mg per liter. And option D 10 to 20 mg per liter. Here the normal therapeutic range of theophylline is the question. And the answer is option D 10 to 20 mg per 
letter this is the answer that is the normal therapeutic range of theophilia the next question last 10th question what is the normal range of hemoglobin in newborn question and the option option a 14 to 18 gram per deciliter option b 10 to 14 gram per deciliter and option d 18 to 20 gram per deciliter and the last option option d 15 to 25 gram per deciliter so the question is the normal range of hemoglobin newborn so what is normal range is option c 18 to 20 gram per deciliter that is the normal hemoglobin range in newborn and for adult we can see for men it is 14 to 16 gram per deciliter and for women it is 12 to 14 gram per deciliter that is the normal range of hemoglobin for men and women for infant for newborn it is it is 18 gram or 18 to 20 gram per deciliter option c is correct over here